Hey guys, um, it's Van Riller here. I've just uh, decided to um, go back and re-record a few of the tutorial videos that I've made in the past, uh, simply because um, I can now actually record my voice uh, and talk to you instead of having you read what I'm typing on the screen that I would have otherwise said anyway. Um, so the first one that I'm going to be re-recording is the tutorial on how to install one of my modification packs to Railworks DLC because apparently simply watching me install my own mod isn't enough for some people. Um, I actually don't even know if I type in this. I think I just actually run through the, the mod process. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna re-record this with my voice so maybe this time people can actually follow along more easily uh... so let's see what's going on here All right. so the mod that we are going to install today as a template will be let's see if i can find it will be the metra mod uh... metra there it is so Obviously, the download link for the mod will be, you can find it in the video description of the mod showcase, I guess you'd call it. And uh, so it'll take you here to a Mediafire download page. You download the mod, um, go into wherever, yeah, I have a lot of crap. Uh, go to wherever the mod downloads, to, and then you open the mod. The first thing you will notice upon opening the mod is that there are files within the uh, within the 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 larger uh, pack file. Um, you'll see two thumbnail files, uh, the README text file, which is very important, and then the actual mod file. Um, so let's follow the logic here and open the README file. Um, all of my mods come with a README file. Uh, it basically tells you um, what the mod's about. Let's get this out of the way. What the mod's about, uh, what content it pertains to. So this particular mod uh, covers this content here. Um, the second line will always tell you that uh, if you don't have this add-on, the mod is useless to you because you don't have the content that I've modded. Um, then it goes through a couple of things about, uh, ooh. Yeah, I never noticed that. I'm missing something here. Sound, haha, -ha. lol. Anyways, um, okay, so, yeah, so there's a couple of things here that'll tell you what it, the mod pack is, what it's not, uh, that it's, it's a freeware, you can't turn it around and sell it, whatever, blah, 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 and then it goes on, goes on to tell you exactly what I've changed, the values I've used, uh, whatnot, and then down here is probably one of the most important parts of the readme file. This is, these are the installation instructions because everyone seems to have some type of issue installing a mod pack from me. Uh, so we will go through these instructions really quickly. Hopefully by the end of this tutorial you will get a better understanding of exactly how to install one of my modification packs. Alright, so... Ooh. Yes, I wish to. I, I don't know why I did that. I'm going to re-upload this in a few minutes anyway. Okay, so the first step to installing any of my mods is to locate the directory in which the host DLC resides. So for the Metro mod, the specific directory is here. So we are going to do that. We're going to open that. So for the sake of people who don't have a shortcut on their desktop, I will go from scratch. Alright, so you open File Explorer, uh, pull up 
the instructor. I have too much crap open. All right, so this tells you the directory where the DLC resides. So you have to go to your C drive. C drive. All right. Program files x86. Steam. Steam apps, common. All right, so we find, oops. I hate this thing sometimes. Steam. Steam apps. Common. Railworks. All right, now you're in the Railworks folder. So to find where the mod, not, not the mod, to, to find where the DLC resides, you go to, you will go to the Assets folder, right? So you find Assets, Open Assets. You have a bunch of stuff here. Um, the Metro mod, not okay. The Metro DLC resides in the Barnes folder, right? So you find that you find Chicago. Okay, for, okay. Normally, before we go any further, normally you will not see on your computer unless you are a modder yourself. You will not see any of the files I have just highlighted. These files that I've just highlighted will not be in this folder when you open it. The only three files you should see are these three files that I've highlighted. Those three are the files you will see in here when you open this folder. The only reason that these files are here on my computer is because I mod stuff and I have to pull these folders out of... Um, out of the AP files. We can go, we'll go over that in another tutorial. But anyways, like I said, the files that I highlighted at first, all these folders here, they won't be in, they shouldn't show up when you open this folder in your, on your machine. So anyways, now you are at the directory that is specified by step one. Okay, locate BNSF, Chicago, blah, blah, blah. All right, good. Now, Step two says open the TS2015 uh, Metra EMD F40 PH and Gallery Cab Car Physics Mod Pack dot seven Z. So you go back to the main mod file that you downloaded, go in, look at the files in there. You will see this file that is specified in step two right here. It's highlighted. Now what you have to do is open it. All right, you open it. If uh, specifically if you have um, Oh, this is annoying. All right, there we go. Um, let's see. All right, so wait a second. Give me a minute here. Is this physics is not a sound mod? Not a sound mod. A sound mod. Uh, okay. All right. You will see that once you open this file, uh, the seven Z file within the main uh, mod pack file, you will see this folder here. It says rail vehicles. Go back to the instructions. Step three tells you to drag the file folder from the RAR or ZIP or 7Z file in step two. Uh, drag that folder from that file uh, package into the directory you opened into step one. So you drag, so you go back to this file and you want to drag this folder, rail vehicles, from this file, from this uh, 7z file into the directory. This is the directory here. Into this directory, right? Now, after you drag it, it's going to ask you to replace files if and only if you have these file folders already in this directory. Uh, you shouldn't get this message if you don't have files already present, file folders present in this directory, and, and it'll just copy in, and you'll see this this folder appear, um, right? But I'm going to overwrite 
because whatever, it doesn't matter, it doesn't change anything for me. So once that is finished, once you have successfully copied that uh, uh, file into the directory, the installation should be complete, okay? Um, that's it. That's, that's all you have to do. Uh, n you don't have to do anything else. Now. Now. Um, all you'd have to do now is, is basically open the game and, uh, run the DLC to see if these, the values change, actually changed, whether or not, um, they reflect the specifications I've labeled here. And if they have, then the installation was a success. You don't have to do anything else. Uh... Yeah, and then if at any point you would want to uninstall or if the mod actually corrupts the DLC, all you would have to do is um, basically if you don't have any file folders in here other than, uh, than the file folder you dragged out, then all you'd have to do is delete this file folder, right? Delete it. And the only three files you would have in this directory, again, would be the three I've just highlighted. If you do have files here because you're a modder like I am, and these are present, and you had to overwrite files, all you have to do is open the AP file again, uh, select the folder that the content came in, and just redrag it out. And that will overwrite the mod files and restore all of the... Uh, the script files and the the bin files to to their default settings. Uh, yeah, that's it. Um, this principle is the same for any and all modification packs that I release. These instructions might uh, contain different directories because uh, different DLC resides in different directories, but the steps are all the same. Um, you could take this general form and replicate it for the M8 mod, or the, uh, the AEM7 mod, or the Acela mod. It's exactly the same. Uh, it's, it doesn't matter. This is actually... I don't... Alright. I don't know why I downloaded this, because this is completely different. It's not. It's not. Okay. All right. Good. So note that for the Metra mod, I split the physics mod and the partial sound mod. So we'll go through the installation of the sound mod again, just in case people weren't able to follow what I was doing the first time. All right. So we downloaded the sound mod. I'm going to open the sound mod. Remember, first things first, open, um, open the README file, tells you what I've changed, the sounds that have changed. Again, installation instructions, the, the steps are the same. Step one, find the DLC directory. We already have it open, so I don't have to do anything. Step two, okay, this, okay, I don't need that. Step two, uh... Step two, open, open the, the pack file that is located in the larger pack file, right? Open that. Step three, drag the file folder from the pack file in, that you opened in step two into the directory from step one. So, drag the audio folder from this sound mod pack into the directory, and over, it says overwrite 12 files, overwrite 12 files. Now, the installation should be complete. Run the game to check to make sure the sound's actually completed. Um, that's it. That's all you have to do. Um, if you guys have any questions, 
Uh, feel free to post in the comments, but honestly, I think that's about as clear as I can get with the installation process. Um, if you're still having trouble, I don't know exactly how to help you at this point, uh, but I hope you don't. I hope that this has been clear enough and concise enough for you to be able to install one of my modification packs with minimal trouble. So, yeah. Um, thanks for tuning in, and until next time, see ya.